There's some disagreement among Republican lawmakers in regard to Donald Trump's tactics in trying to overturn the results of the general election. Now, it's abundantly clear Joe Biden has won. Uh, the Trump campaign has lost uh, over 50 different legal battles uh, in regard to the election. Uh, but that's not stopping GOP Congressman Louis Gohmert, along with 11 other plaintiffs who have filed a federal lawsuit against Vice President Mike Pence in a last ditch effort to overturn the results of the general election. So let me tell you how they're planning on trying to make this work. Gohmert and the others, a group which includes Arizona Republican Party Chair Kelly Ward, are bringing their case before Trump appointed Judge Jeremy Kernodal. Noodle. Um, I, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he's a Trump appointed judge. They are seeking to give Pence the ability to appoint a sham slate of pro Trump electors rather than the duly elected appointees chosen by the public on November 3rd. The filing states that Gohmert will indeed lodge an objection during the joint session of Congress over which Pence will preside on January 6th. Now, um, my understanding is. January 6th is mostly like a traditional thing that happens, right? Um, it's the, like their plan here is nonsense and it's not going to work. But nonetheless, this is another attempt to try to overturn the results of the election. Yeah, I, I love uh, the uh, awkward place that it puts Pence as a matter of optics. So uh, Pence is going to just pound the gavel. It's a, it's called pro forma because it just means we're just, th there's nothing to do here. This is just like a formality. Okay. And, and they're like, no, no, I want you to block it. Okay. But even if you did that, okay. And it looks like some Republicans are going to do that. They're going to do that in Congress. Gorman's trying to get them to do it through the courts. Then the house and the Senate vote separately. The Democrats have the House, so they have 0% chance of winning the vote. So it's all a show for no reason at all, full well knowing that they're going to lose. So what is the actual reason? It's politics. And, and think about how dirty Gomert and those guys are. They're throwing Pence under the bus. They're throwing all of their fellow Republicans under the bus who believe in the Constitution. They're saying, if you don't vote for a coup, we're going to call you guys Republicans in name only. We're going to say that it was your fault. And we're going to try to take credit for uh, supporting Donald Trump, even though they all know with 100 percent certainty that they have no chance of succeeding. It's it's really it's wonderfully callous uh, against their fellow Republicans. No, I and I love it. I personally love it uh, because they've made their bed. I mean, they know. Uh, I'm talking about the Republican Party overall, Republican lawmakers overall. Throughout the last four years, they have enabled Donald Trump and all of his actions. They've made excuses. They've been apologists for his behavior. And so now the chickens are coming home to roost. There are some Republicans, though, who uh, at least feel comfortable enough calling this what it is. And Representative Adam Kinzinger is one of those Republicans who essentially went on CNN and said that these attempts to overturn the results of the election, it's just a, a, a grifting scam by some Republican lawmakers. Let me give you his exact statement. It's a scam, he says. It's going to disappoint the people that believe this election was stolen, that think this is an opportunity to change it. But instead of being disappointed in the people that led them on this grifting scam, they will somehow, you know, try to convince these people that it was the rhinos in Congress or something like that, and not the Constitution that prevents this from happening in the first place. We talk about the Constitution. We have to follow it. And I'm sorry if that doesn't mean the outcome was what you wanted. And uh, Representative Mo Brooks, a GOP lawmaker who's probably one of the top Trump enablers, uh, responded to that on Fox and Friends, uh, essentially uh, arguing that, no, 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 we have so much evidence. We have so much evidence of widespread voter fraud. I mean, 
I don't have enough time to detail that evidence right now during this interview, but here's what he said. Representative Mo Brooks was asked by Will Kane on Fox and Friends to explain his strategy for uh, when he intends to dispute Congress's certification of the Electoral College results. Brooke once again claimed overwhelming and compelling uh, uh, evidence of mass voter fraud and election theft, but again, declined to elaborate because it takes more time than you're allotting me. And then he says, it's sad to the extent that we've got Republicans who are unwilling to do their homework or unwilling to make tough decisions. And unfortunately, Adam Kinzinger falls in that ballpark. If he would do his homework, he would understand that the evidence is overwhelming. There is no evidence, which is why he couldn't provide it during this interview or any other time. And he, um, uh, and he can either surrender to the people who support voter fraud, election theft, or he can fight for his country on this particular issue. There is nothing more important to the republic than having an election system that is honest and accurate. Well, it uh, turns out that we do have an election system that's honest and accurate, which is why uh, the Trump campaign has failed to provide any evidence of widespread voter fraud to overturn the results of the election. So they're, they're having an argument over who's the traitor, not only to the Republican Party, but to the country. Uh, and Kinzinger is saying, look, you clowns, you're trying to do a political coup here. Even the New York Post agrees now. Rupert Murdoch, who runs Fox News, agrees. It's it's an attempted clown coup, okay? So you guys are betraying the Constitution. Mo Brooks turns around and says, no, you're betraying it because I have all this secret evidence. Well, wait a minute now. I can actually settle this for you guys because if you're MAGA, and you believe Trump and Giuliani and Mo Brooks and the Kraken that they have overwhelming evidence. Well, that's interesting because they've never presented it in court. That's why they've lost every single case, including uh, it for in courts where there are only Republican appointed judges, including in front of Trump appointed judges. And every one of those judges have said you presented no evidence. So if you're MAGA, then you know who the traitor is. It's Mo Brooks. Because Mo Brooks says he has overwhelming evidence, but he won't share it with Trump's team in court. If he only shared it with them in court, they would obviously win. Instead of having zero evidence, they'd have overwhelming evidence. He let them lose over 50 cases in a row and would not share the evidence. Mo Brooks, traitor to Trump and the Republican Party. By the way, there's no way you could logically dispute that. The only way you could say, no, Mo Brooks is not a traitor is, oh, yeah, he's obviously lying. We don't have any evidence. Because if he's not lying and he has overwhelming evidence and they've never presented it in court, he's the one screwing over Trump. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, we'll talk about the New York Post story in more detail later, but the editorial board there made a devastating point. I mean, we've made a similar point on this show. I mean, the Trump campaign spent $3 million on a recount in Georgia, a hand count. And following that hand count, they discovered that Biden actually won by dozens of more votes than previously known. Like, it's over, it's over, give it up, it's embarrassing. And what's also deeply disturbing is just how far some GOP lawmakers will go to show their loyalty to Donald Trump, even knowing that it could potentially dismantle our democracy and our democratic process. That's, yeah. that's how self-interested they are. They're willing to put everything on the line, including this country's democracy. It's just yeah. pathetic and disgusting. I, I want to point out one other thing. And in case you don't know, New York Post is, again, owned by the same owner as Fox News, one of the most con conservative media outlets in American history. And um, But they, they recounted twice in Georgia. So they've had three different counts, including two recounts, including a hand recount. And the New York Post made a good point uh, saying that, well, you guys claim you have evidence of Venezuelans fixing the voting machines. But in Georgia, they did a hand recount. You can't fix people's hands. You can't rig their hands, right? So there was no machines to rig at that point. It's a hand recount. So you guys are on a different planet. And even the Fox News owned, you know, Murdoch, it's, or uh, Murdoch owns Fox News and Post. Even those guys are saying, no, you guys are actually literal lunatics. So that's who Mo Brooks is. Every That's who Louis Gohmert is. And every Republican that's seen, my God, over 100, 126 Republicans said, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh, yeah, man, and Hugo Chavez. Yeah, they definitely, uh, they they rigged uh, the Republican hands in Georgia 
to, to count it the wrong way. Yeah, man, we would have won, man. We had overwhelming evidence, man. All of them. The Republican Party now split into two camps, not establishment and right wing, not rhino and non-rhino. They're split into sane and insane. No joke. 